After you start your computer, a full screen is displayed. This displayed on your monitor or the screen in your laptop. The sample you see here is from my laptop which runs the Vista operating system. The operating systems might be slightly different. For example, Windows XP is different. Windows 7 is very similar to Vista. The background image you can create from a photo that's on your computer. I did this from my photo of Positano, which is on the Amalfi Coast. You have four options to open up programs on your screen. The first option is that you scroll to an icon like Firefox and you double click on it and it opens up a window, a full window, that covers the screen. The reason it's a window is if we go up and we click on this little icon that says Restore Down, what it does is it reduces the size of the window. That's why we call it a window within a screen. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to scroll up and we're going to maximize again. And let's say that it's fully maximized and you want to open up something else. Well, option number two then is you scroll down to the navigation bar down at the bottom and you click on this little icon and you'll see a full list of programs that are called shortcuts and also folders that are listed there for shortcuts that you can open. So let's open Hearts by clicking on Hearts and you can then play the Hearts program. Next what you can do is go down and click on Show Desktop. You click on that and it takes the two windows and minimizes them down to the navigation. Next is option three. What you do is you scroll to the left, click on the Start icon, and when you click on that you'll see a list of programs again. And on the right hand side too. You can click on all programs and you can see all of them and all of the folders that they stay in within. Click on the screen again, it closes that. Next step will open up these two windows again and we'll close them. And then the fourth option is you go down to the navigation bar and click on one of these icons, again like Firefox, and when you do that, it opens up the window again. That is option four. The last point is the lower right part of the navigation bar. What you see here are all these little icons of the programs that are automatically started. Thanks for listening to my tutorial.